So what do all of the stakes with the orange flags with the letters on them and all the orange paint mean? I did a little video last year on this for laying out sidewalks to have, uh, we'll do an explanation of what all the survey marks meant. I could not find the footage. So we just had the survey crew come in here this morning and lay out some new stuff. So I figured we'd go over it and help explain a little bit of this. We are on the very first of three football fields that we're fixing to renovate this summer. We just opened this up this week. And one thing that has to happen is all this is getting ripped out and changed, but there is going to be a retaining wall that goes around there, comes over here, it zigs and it zags, and it runs down over to here. So what we have to do is transpose those numbers that were on that piece of paper to the ground right here. And I am going to prep this side. I'm actually not going to build this wall. It's a poured wall, and I'm not a poured wall person, but I am going to prep the side, get the excavation done to top of the footer. For the contractor is going to do that for me. So we had the survey crew out today, and I come out and put these stakes in the ground. So a little bit of explanation. What I like to have is I like to have on this job, we're doing a 15-foot and a 20-foot offset. So what that means is that stake is 15 foot from where the back of the retaining wall be, uh, the retaining wall will be in front of it. And we go to back of wall. So there's a little stub right there, 15 foot off the center over this direction is where the back of the wall will be. The other information, like on the back of this stake right here, ST, STA 1 plus 10.5. That is the station. So you get a corresponding elevation drawing and it shows a horizontal view of the wall. And it'll have station numbers on there. And generally, every time there's a station change, there's either an angle change or an elevation change on that footing. So what they do is they start out, they come out here and they found a benchmark, which is right over there by that railing. That is a known elevation that's on the plans because I actually have a different company laying it out than the company that designed it. So they match up, they set all their fancy technology up and they make sure the elevations are right and then they start. So we got our first one, and our second one, third one, fourth one, blah, blah, blah. So if we walk around to the, well, let's walk around here to the front of the stake. So the stakes will have different information on the same stick. So if we look at this one right here, get down in here. <laughs> okay, so we have TOF, and what that means is top of footer. Now, what we found is on the plans, it had BOW, which is bottom of wall, which technically you would think would be the very bottom of the wall. Well, we had to ask some questions, and we found out that is not actual bottom of the wall. BOW on the plans is the finished grade below the wall. So then we had to go to a corresponding chart and we found out if it's six foot or below, they want one foot, four inches below that finished grade is where the top of the footer will be. So that is the dimension I need because the contractor that's gonna build these walls will dig his footers himself. I'm just getting him excavated down to that point. So what this tells us, 15 foot off this stick back behind me, is where the back of the wall will be. And when I come in here to dig this out, which we're looking right through here, you see all the orange flags, that wall is gonna set back 15 foot. It's, gonna, it's got a couple zigzags in it. But what that tells me is from this point right here, right on top of that stub, right there, that my grade that I need to cut to 15 foot behind me will be 0.43 feet lower than the elevation of that stop. So you're working on decimal feet on survey drawings, so you have to convert that. So an easy way to do that, if you want to know how many inches that would be, you just take 0.43 times 12, and that'll tell you how many inches it'll be. So you know it's it's just a little bit under under six inches, right under half a foot. So it's gonna be like five something, I guess it would be. So top of footer. So what I'll do is I'll set up a laser and I'll, get my tone on that. 
And then I will walk over here and I'm going to paint me some lines when I go to dig this. So 15 foot looks like it's probably about right in here. And right in here, I'm going to set my laser up and I'm going to cut all this dirt out until I get an even tone with my laser when I'm checking it and that I get the setting off of that stake. Now, if you look at the stake behind that, that's a 20 foot offset. I have them do two different stakes. That way, if one gets knocked out or disturbed, you still have a reference. And that grade is higher right there where the little stop is in front of that one. So if you look, if we look on that, it says C 1.29. So C always means cut. So if I set up the laser on the stop in front of that one, I'd get my tone and I would raise my receiver up on my stick because by going up, that means I'm going down 1.29 feet. And then I would use the same thing for here. So if we walk over here, we've got a little bit different application because to get the offsets, we're actually out in the track. And you can't drive a wood stake in the track. So if we walk over here, what they do is they switch to nails. Now this wall, it's it's going to be kind of kind of weird. So like I said, it's going to have several zigzags in it. So right here, two zero OS, so that's twenty foot offset, and there's a fifteen foot offset. So now because I don't have the little stake in the ground, there's a nail right there in that zero with a piece of flagging tape on it. That is where I'll set my grade rod at with my receiver on it when I set my laser up. And that is telling me that 20 foot from here, over yonder where the footing of that wall will be, that off of that measurement, that I'm going to cut 1.54 feet. So I'm going to set my receiver up on my grade rod, get my tone, and then I will raise the receiver up on the grade rod, a little over a foot and a half. And that will be where I need to be at 20 foot away. So it's pretty simple. If we were in a situation where we needed, where this spot was lower than where we're going to build a footer, we would have an F on there for fill. And then we would do just the opposite. If it was a fill situation from this point, then we would um, lower our receiver on the gray rod 1.54 feet. And that brings it up in the air. So as we say, we got another one right here. Now, because this changes angles, you know, you got to really watch it when you do your layout. Here's our station numbers. Look on the back of the stake. It's got your station. And he's got it matched up right here. See, STA 0 plus 6, 2. And that's that stake right there. There's a zigzag in the wall right here. That station, that stake is STA uh, plus uh, plus five zero. So a little doodad goes in there. We walk on down. No stakes at all because it's all on this asphalt. Same basic information. We're looking at this one right here. You see the nail head in the asphalt with a flagging tape. That says cut 1.55 feet. If you want to convert that to inches, Take 1.55 times 12, 12 inches in a foot, and you'll get the actual number of inches. But you know a foot is one point, uh, a foot and a half is going to be 1.5. So it's just old ground over a foot and a half. 15 foot off of that pin. Step back here, it's 20 foot off of this pin. And if you lay it up, uh, line it up right here, you can tell we're a little bit different angle than what we were over there. Come down here, this is actually the end of the wall, or beginning, whichever way you want to look at it. This is actually the, the taller side of it. Because what's going to happen is that wall is going to go in there, down there, do all that. And what it's going to allow us to do is the new sidewalk, a walking path that's going to wrap the field, will ramp up and go up to that level. And that all be ADA accessible. So, same thing here. Now this is the difference you can see, even though the asphalt looks flat, it's not. The asphalt is leaning that way. 15 foot offset, 1.52 is the cut. 20 foot, just five more feet out, 1.58 is the cut. 
So that little bit of stuff will tell us everything we know to build a wall. Now, we did not put top of wall and all that stuff on the pins because we don't need that because that's on the drawings. Once we set the grade, then that contractor will dig his footer out, whatever the dimensions got to be, and then he'll pull, he'll find out where the top of the wall or how tall he needs to pour the wall will be off of those same drawings. And we might take a look at that when he gets out here and gets set up. Maybe we'll do another little old video on that. But we'll try to do another one uh, this summer when we, once we start doing concrete and all that out here on layout. Same basic thing we use for sidewalks and everything. We do elevations on that as well. You get into ADA and all that, handicap access. You know, you get certain percentages. And it's just easier to do all that if you have a survey company come out and lay all that out for you. So that's just a quick rundown. We'll, uh, we'll get a little more technical maybe on the next one. See y'all later.